Welcome back to Snark and Spark. My name is Emily and today is a Flossmas wrap up. So today is technically Tuesday, December 27th and I missed the last couple days of Flossmas because family and personal things, which I will talk about. Um, nothing like super crazy, just um, Christmas is not the easiest holiday for me. And so instead of filming, I decided to take a break. Now, I have said like many times, and it still holds true, that I have no problem showing you good, bad, ugly, all of that. It looks like my speaker is crooked. It probably, it might be, but it might just also be the angle I'm at. Sorry. Um, meaning, <laughs> so good, bad, ugly, whatever. I, because I don't believe in faking things, I, this is me. This is who I am. This is how it is. Um, I'd rather be genuine and honest than put on a face and fake it. But, and I was going to do some floss tubes. Um, and then I got really emotional and I didn't, I could have pulled myself together and filmed, but I didn't want to do that because at the time it still felt really forced and I was afraid it would come across as insincere or even as like self-serving or like attention seeking. And that's, I didn't want that. There are too many people besides me who, um, you know, struggle during this season. So I do want to share my stitchy things and I want to share our last couple Christmas traditions. Um, and then I'm gonna leave my Flossmas at this because over the next couple of days, I'm going to have several other videos I'm going to be filming and uploading of um, my December, December wrap up plus my whole end of the year wrap up. I do wanna do a short like whip parade since I only have a total of eight whips which is way more than I thought I was going to end the year with. Um, considering I started the year with like, what, five? And had said something, I remember saying like that four to five is like my comfort number that I would do really good with, you know, that I don't want any more than five. And here I am with eight, which I think brings my total that I worked on for the year to 12, which I'll get into all of that in my like end of the year wrap up kind of thing but I want to show off all the things that are coming with me into 2023 talk about my whole you know 2023 stitch for me some more um and what that looks like and what else I have my wax slash like beauty empties I know I never released the one for November um I filmed it and I believe it's even edited on my desktop but I never actually like uploaded it so I'm just gonna combine December's with November's and it'll just be probably a little long but for those of you who like that there you go you get a double feature <laughs> um and then January plans so yeah when a couple videos that are gonna be coming so I gotta start filming and I will probably do a lot of that tomorrow I'm just taking it easy today um, cause I did hurt my back yesterday. So I don't really feel like sitting in my desk chair. I like my couch where I've got my heated blanket. Um, I was just upstairs and I didn't grab my heating pad and I meant to do that. I'll talk about all of that. This is going to be a long one cause I'm wrapping up Flossmas. But so essentially look forward to that. There are a bunch of December videos that are coming that I will, my plan is to film a lot tomorrow, assuming my back is better and I can sit at my desk for longer periods of time and do all the editing and edit them and get them uploaded and then just have them release like once a day through the end of December kind of thing. Um, because I don't see a lot of things changing past those filming of those videos other than like Harry Potter. So, cause the only thing you need to know, and I made this decision, which is why it's in Flossmas is I have basically decided I have met my goals on all of my whips, except for, she's sitting right next to me, Cathedral Woods Goddess and 
Letters from Hogwarts. So Letters from Hogwarts I wanted to have finished. It's not going to happen, but I'm still going to work on it through the end of the year and just see how much I can knock out by 2022. Um, Cathedral Woods Goddess is 200 stitches away from 1,000, and I had a yearly goal of putting 1,000 stitches in all of my whips, so it just needs 200 more stitches. I already put 100 in today, and I'll do 100 tomorrow and 100 on Thursday, assuming I am not completely exhausted. I work a full day on Thursday, so we'll see how I feel once I get home. Um, Cathedral Woods Goddess is because I started in the middle, which is also very crinic and bead heavy, um, can get pretty overwhelming. So I've, and I don't want to burn myself out on it. So I only do a hundred stitches on her, like at a time I do a hundred stitches and then I put her down and I work on something else because that way, um, I still have this feeling of like, I could do more. And I'm looking forward to working on her again tomorrow because I didn't push myself too hard and work on her today, but I'll show you that. So, here she is. I'm really excited. This is 800 stitches. Boop, 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 boop. I now have a third needle minder on this project. I have my Snow Queen. I have my Hocus Pocus. And then I just added this one. It just is like a little needle box. Um, I honestly don't remember where I got this. I didn't even remember I had it. It was magnetized to my stitchy cart. And I was like, ooh, that's cute. And I need a third needle minder. And I, it kind of goes with the colors. So... Here she is, 800 stitches. She needs 200 more. Um, I really think, so, we. <laughs> this is as far as up as I'm gonna like stitch without moving the scroll frames, the scroll rods. So I kind of hit where I was comfortable stopping up here with Krynik and now I'm going to finish this row of beads. There's a couple in here and then I'm just gonna work my way back down with beading and then move into her dress all the way down and then I'll come back up and do like her arms, the top part of her dress and her face and skin and all of that and her headdress because that's a really big um, portion. So I just wanted to get a lot of this Krynik done since it is so Krynik heavy um, and some of these beadings. I won't put any of the treasures on until the very end though. I will bead and backstitch as I go but I will attach treasures at the very end because those are big and in the past, I've had them, like, fall off if they're not tightened properly, and I don't want to deal with that, especially being rolled up in the frame. So, treasures will be attached at the very end. That's her. So, um, and then the other piece I have that I worked on is Storybook Halloween, because it was for one of my categories. It was, like, my longest since worked on. So, I put 400 stitches, and the last, I think I had shown it, I had, like, the bottom part of this poison apple. So, poison apple is all the way completed. Sanderson Sisters from Hocus Pocus got completed. And then we have started on the Flying Dutchman, which is the ship. So, and it's currently, I'm currently doing white and I hate working with white because I feel like white is always hella messy for me. Um, so I railroad my white stitches. Otherwise, I just feel like they're ugly. <laughs> so. I always go very, very slowly with white. I also try and stitch it fairly early if it's gonna be surrounded by colors because I don't want any bleeding to happen. But white just usually takes me a little bit longer. I have not touched Hogwarts in like several days, so there's nothing to show you there. I'll pull it out and work on it tonight once we're done with this. Um, so Christmas things. Christmas Eve is, <sighs> Christmas Eve is, hard for me. Um, it's also very special to me for a couple reasons. So my parents um, are divorced. I am a child of divorce. Not a big deal. They divorced when I was three years old. So my entire life, my parents were divorced. Um, with that though, obviously separation of holidays, you have to figure that out. So growing up, Christmas Eve was always my dad's and then Christmas Day was always my mom's which would mean my dad would come pick us up like Christmas Eve morning or whatever, and we would spend all day Christmas Eve with him. We would spend the night at my dad's house and we would wake up at my dad's house on Christmas morning, do Christmas morning presents with my dad, 
Um, and then he would take us back to my mom's. We would do Christmas morning presents with my mom. And then usually we would then go to my mom's family Christmas and have a big family Christmas with my mom's side of the family on Christmas day. So um, Christmas Eve was my dad's day. And even as I got older and became an adult, I still did things on Christmas Eve with him. Even after I have moved, had moved states, right? So when I like started to leave home and looking more and more that I wasn't gonna be able to come home for Christmas Eve, my dad passed on traditions to us. So Christmas Eve for my dad and my sister and I was always at his house. We would usually have some sort of dinner that didn't matter. But the thing that we did do for Christmas Eve was we would always sit down and we would watch the live action um, Jim Carrey version of How the Grinch Stole Christmas every single Christmas Eve. Um, my sister, my dad, and I all just love and loved that movie, right? So we would watch it every year on Christmas Eve every year like since it came out every year we have not missed a single year so i think i have only missed it once and i believe that was in 2020 and that was the year he died and i just couldn't do it so we would gather around with our drinks usually a mountain dew which is what i've got in my koozie <laughs> or hot chocolate, or whatever it is, and we would sit down and we would watch The Grinch, okay? Go to bed, wake up, presents. Um, to the point where once we started leaving for home and we couldn't come back, my dad gifted both my sister and I our own copies of The Grinch on DVD. And so that way, even though we weren't home, we could all still watch The Grinch together. And so he would like call us on Christmas Eve and ask us or text us like what time are we all starting the Grinch and we would all put it in in our respective homes and we would watch the Grinch. Um, so that is something that I have now started with Caden. In years past I watched it by myself. Um, like I said he passed in 2020. He passed in um, August of 2020 so that Christmas was very very hard and I just couldn't do it. Last year for 2021 um, I watched it with Caden for the first time. I thought it was I thought I could handle it and I also didn't want to watch it alone. It Bryant is not a fan. My husband is not a fan of that version of The Grinch which is fine. I'm not going to make him watch a movie that he doesn't want to watch. Um, he will watch it if if I ask him to. Um, if he knows that I need him to be with me. Um, and so, like, I don't remember last year, but, like, this year, Caden and I settled down to watch it. And he kind of passed through a couple times during certain moments that he knows always makes me um, emotional. So he um, he kind of would pop in and hang out near me during those moments and then go back and do his thing. But so that's really important. So Caden and I, like, snuggle down. We got some hot chocolate. And we watched The Grinch, and then I wanted to start a new Christmas Eve tradition because I didn't want Christmas Eve to always feel heavy and sad because it still does for me. It's still very fresh and very new, and it's very hard. And I wanted to have a Christmas Eve tradition that is completely new and is my own and something I can share with my family. And so I kind of did some looking around and we came across one and Bryant and I agreed that we really like it and it's something we want to do. And it's essentially a Christmas Eve package, like a Christmas Eve care package, right? And so we picked five things and we picked one other person to buy for. We let Caden choose actually. So Caden wanted to buy for me so I'm so then I bought for Bryant and Bryant bought for Caden. And we picked 
what we called a Christmas cozy. So like a comfy outfit, some comfy clothes to wear, a snack, a sweet, a drink, and an ornament. And the whole thing is you open it up, you've got your Christmas outfit to wear. We don't really go anywhere on Christmas day. So it was like something comfy loungewear to wear for Christmas day. But then you have, and you open it like early Christmas Eve. Like we opened ours like after dinner. So then you have like a snack and you have a sweet and you have a drink, which is like, we're gonna settle down and we're gonna watch our Christmas Eve movie. And we've got a snack to eat while we watch our movie. And we've got a little sweet to eat while we watch our movie. And we've got a nice little beverage to drink while we watch our movie. And then we have a Christmas Eve ornament that you put on your tree before the Christmas. Um, so Caden, with Brian's help, picked out, and I have some photos I'll attach, um, he picked me out a blue outfit, so I had some blue sweatpants and a blue Christmas sweater that had trees on it, and one has sequins, and it's all sparkly. Um, I'm trying to remember. He got me... What was my snack that he grabbed me? He got... I like those pretzel thins. Um, he got me a big bag of those that are everything bagel flavored. He got me some Reese white chocolate Christmas trees. Um, he got me some juice. Um, I really like grape juice, um, but he picked Cran Mango, which I had never tried before, but he insisted was my favorite, apparently, to his dad. So Cran Mango Juice, which Bryant then grabbed um, an adult beverage to partake with it, to make a cocktail out of. <laughs> um, and then he got me, what is my ornament? Oh, um, he got me an ornament that is a glass of wine and it is the coolest thing I have ever seen. It is an actual glass and it has liquid in it, but it's sealed and it's called, um, the ornament has a name and it's called Chardonnay, like Chardonnay. Um, I love it, it's really cool, it's on the tree. Um, same thing, I got Bryant some sweatpants and a tub of popcorn and Sour Patch Kids and a hot chocolate bomb. And then I got him a bottle of hot sauce as his ornament. And Caden got a red like sweatsuit outfit. And I'm trying to and Christmas tree cakes and oatmeal pie, oatmeal cream pie, and Cheez Its. And what is his ornament? And like a s'mores, a little snowman marshmallow s'mores. And a hot chocolate bomb as well so which was great so then we woke up christmas morning we put on our christmas outfits we got dressed put on our christmas outfits and then i like to come downstairs and i make cinnamon rolls just from the can nothing crazy but make cinnamon rolls and while the cinnamon rolls were baking we watched a christmas movie bryant picked um christmas with the cranks which is a tim allen and jimmy lee curtis movie we watched that with Caden this year um and then we after and then we ate breakfast and after we had breakfast we paused the movie we did our presents and then we finished the movie and then we went about playing with our toys and doing our own thing so we did some things all together we built some things we all got legos for each other and so we spent some time building our legos um and then Caden got some new games, so then he went upstairs to go play on the Xbox upstairs. But it was good, but Christmas is still hard, so there were some moments of me getting a little teary-eyed and a little emotional, just because it is difficult to be um, without. So anyone who is missing a loved one this holiday season, please know that you are not alone. Um, I am with you, I completely, understand and I know how it feels and I support you and if I could I would give you the biggest hug and just let you know that it hurts but it's okay and that there are people that do care for you so I give you my love I give you my heart I give you my support because it is hard um, I'm just grateful I have a very understanding husband and I have a wonderful child who is also just the most empathetic little boy sometimes. Um, sometimes he's a real turd, that's a standard kid. And then there are times where he just 
blows me away with his kindness and his big heart. So, I'm not gonna get emotional again. <laughs> but, so, wrapping up my Flossmas, that was my Christmas. I kinda wanna do a what I got for Christmas video. I have some pictures I'm gonna, I'm gonna attach because we did have some really good things. Um, I have pictures of with us with our Legos. Um, unfortunately, I have my I have deleted all of Caden's pictures, so I have photos of like my husband and I. Um, I have like a family online photo album for Caden, and my sister has one for our niece that we upload all of our pictures of Caden to, and we it's like it's private, so. Um, but like our family has the links for it. It's like Bryant's parents, my parents. So I upload all of the pictures of Caden to this online album because I take a lot of photos of my kid and I upload them there so that everyone can see them. And then after that, I delete them off my phone. Um, otherwise I would be stuck with all of these pictures. And if I want to see them again, they're, they're all in this online album, right? So I did that. <laughs> And then I deleted all the pictures of Caden off my phone, and now I'm going, well, dang it. <laughs> I don't have any pictures. I think I have, like, one picture, maybe, left of him. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, Bryant got the Mandalorian helmet. Um, he got me the Astronomy Tower from Harry Potter Lego kit. Um, I have put two sections of it together and that's it um it's very time I would like to work on some more but I need to work on it on the floor and I can't get down and off the floor right now that's also what I was gonna say um we also got hit with another snowstorm so yeah we had winter storm Elliot right not a big deal um turned out to be whatever but Besides me not going to work. But then we got hit with another winter storm. Um, and we have snow. <laughs> so we had a white Christmas. And there's snow on the ground and everything like that. And I was like, I'm going to be really nice and a good wife. So I went out last night at like 6 o'clock while Bryant was at work. And like in the evening. And shoveled his half of our driveway. My car is already, like, covered in snow, like, whatever. You know, I'm still off work. I don't go back to work till Thursday. So it's not a big deal that my car is in there. I don't have any plans to go anywhere. So, but I shoveled Bryant's side of the driveway because he has to get to and from work. Um, and he's got a small car versus my SUV. So I shoveled his side of the driveway for him. And, of course, I have injured the left side of my back doing that. Because of course I did. Because I'm old. No, I'm not. But <laughs> but I have injured the left side of my back. It's just very sore. I'm sure it's just like strained sore muscles. And I'll be fine like tomorrow. So I'm like sitting. I'm just taking it easy today. I'm going to use a heating pack. No big deal. But it is funny that that happened last night. So um, yeah, I'm going to leave this here. I feel like I've talked way too much. Um, blah, 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 blah. yep <laughs> so I'm gonna go that was my Christmas um, as of right now I don't even have any New Year's plans we might hang out with some friends um, we might just stay home I, I don't I don't know uh, I go back to work Thursday I work Thursday I work Friday and then I'm off again for several days because of New Year's. Um, so yeah, I realize I'm like, I've slowly just like kept leaning this whole video. So, <laughs> oh, what is me? Whoa, whoa. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to leave this here. You will see me again very, very soon because, uh, well, like all those videos I said I was going to do. But I will talk to you all later. The do good for today is to call a relative who's far away and just give them a chat. Do that if you want to. Um, I'm not telling you to do that. I personally will not be doing this one. But I have no family members that I need to call because I have seen all of my family members that I wanted to see. And um, like I mentioned in one of my other videos, like the forgiveness thing, 
some people in my life I don't particularly want to call right now, even if we have not talked in a while. And that's all right, too. If you are not ready to talk to someone, don't talk to them. There is nothing that says you have to. And that's how I feel about that. I don't know where I, I suddenly got like real sassy, but I did. Um, essentially, do what's best for you. Ultimately, for Do Good December, do the best and the good thing that is good for you. Take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself first. You cannot pour from an empty cup. That's how I feel. So take care of you. Take I'm going to take care of me. I'm going to rest. I'm going to do some stitching because I can't really do anything else because being on my feet for too long hurts. Because I have a weak back. No. <laughs> I'm just getting silly at this point. So I'm going to go. I love you all. This has been so much fun. Thank you for hanging out with me through these several days of Flossmas throughout this month of December. This has been great. I can't promise I will do like daily videos from now on, but I would also say don't be surprised if you see some daily videos um, like sporadically in the coming months because I did enjoy this a lot and it was great. So I will talk to you all very, very soon. I was gonna do my actual exit no, this is the Flossmas. I gotta do the Flossmas one. I'll talk to you. I will see you all very, very soon. Do some good.